Now, a News 2 I-Team investigation. A Virginia man who came to North Charleston for work says he had to go home early because he was suffering from several bed bug bites. Unbelievable yeah. pictures here. As News 2's Libba Holland found out, after staying at a low country hotel, he might not be able to continue work renovating a North Charleston restaurant. Libba, pretty incredible story here. What happened? Well, Caroline, just a warning before we get into this. Some of the photos you might see in my story may be graphic for some of you. Jose Gonzalez says he checked into the Econo Lodge on Northside Drive near Ashley Phosphate Road last Monday. He was hoping to get a good night's sleep, but instead he woke up looking like this and in pain. This is the worst eating. Uh, it's, it's very hard to describe. Jose Gonzalez says it's a pain he's never experienced, and he doesn't want anyone else to suffer like this. I can't work. It's itching so much. Itching so much. I have to take showers every couple hours. He and his nephew needed a place to rest up for work in the morning. Gonzalez says many of the hotels were booked near his job site, but he found the Econo Lodge with room. The next morning, when we wake up, when we turn the light on, it was, it was like ants all hmm. over the place. Gonzalez believes they were bed bugs. He caught this video in pictures of the insects. Bites now cover his skin, and he's suffering even a week later. I have all over my body. It's not like two or three. It's hundreds. Gonzalez says he complained to the Econolodge staff during his stay, and he left a day early. I spoke with staff at the hotel who say they refunded most of his money. He says they'll refund the rest once they receive the pest control report. They only apologize, but that is not enough because they are renting these rooms to people who are need to rest, not being beaten all night long. The hotel staff member I spoke with says he rented out the room to someone else the next night mm -hmm. after Mr. Gonzalez left, and they had no other complaints about insect bites or bed bugs. I also reached out to the Department of Health and Environmental Control, and hotels are not required to report bed bug incidents uh, because the bed bugs do not spread or carry any diseases. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they just cause really irritating bites that can be treated with a topical cream mm -hmm. or any other uh, antiseptic that you can but put But they are skin. really hard to get rid of for, oh. for a hotel or for the person that can get in your clothes and in your luggage. They're tough to get rid of. How do you do it? Exactly. So I spoke with the doctor and also researched on Clemson's website about this. They specialize in this. And the only way to get rid of bed bugs is through a deep cleaning process mm -hmm. and pest control. A professional would need to come in and treat the area with insecticide. And also, if this is something you experience, you want to make sure you wash any clothes mm -hmm. that were in that area to get rid of any of the eggs that might have been laid on your clothes. Yeah, it's pretty hard to believe, though, that someone had such mm -hmm. a dramatic experience and just painfully, I mean, right. just look at this man's body. The next night, they're able to rent the room and someone else doesn't have any problems. Right, and the doctor that I spoke with said that... Um, you know, sometimes people can have an allergic reaction mm -hmm. to make it a little bit worse, but whatever it was, it obviously caused him some kind of irritation. Yeah, he clearly had a lot of problems. All right, thanks All right. for the heads up about that. Thanks, we appreciate it.